Kabat, you can all agree to Yahweh Vashim Yahushai, Vashim Kakudash. This is Acts 10 and 36. The word which God sent unto the children of Israel, preaching peace by Yahweh Shai Mashiach. He is the Lord of all. So the Most High God is dealing with the children of Israel. He's not dealing with all nations of the earth. Deuteronomy 6 and 7 says, I have chosen you above all nations, above all people of the, of the earth. This is the book of Jeremiah, chapter 4 and verse 4. Circumcise yourselves unto the Lord and take away the foreskin of your heart, ye men of Judah and the inhabitants of Jerusalem. Lest my fury come like fire and burn, but none can quench it because the evil of your doing. And there's a great fire coming upon America, Babylon great, which is the ICBM missiles that will come upon America, Babylon great, as prophesied in Revelation chapter 18. These other nations refer to this, this land with great fire. This land is finished. Why? Because that's what the prophecies say in the Holy Bible. These are the words that the prophets of the Most High God have spoken in times past, and now they're being manifest as these things are coming to pass. So circumcise the foreskins of your heart. Like it says, you men of Judah and inhabitants of Jerusalem. He's talking about the whole nation of Israel. The book of 2 Maccabees speaks about the Most High choose, choosing the place for the people, not the, um, the people for the place, and not the place for the uh, people's sake. Surely paraphrasing. It says Deuteronomy chapter 10 and verse 15. Only the Lord, Deuteronomy 10 and 12. And now, Israel, what does the Lord thy God require of thee? But to fear the Lord thy God, to walk in all his ways, to love him, to serve the Lord thy God with all thy heart, with all thy soul, to keep the commandments of the Lord and his statutes, which I command thee to stay for thy good. Verse 15. Deuteronomy 10 and 15, only the Lord had to light and thy fathers to love them. He chose their seed after them, even you above all people, as it is this day. Circumcise therefore the foreskin of your heart, and be no more stiff neck. Verse 17, for the Lord your God is God of gods, and Yahweh of hosts, a great God, a mighty and a terrible, which regarded not persons nor take it to be reward. So he's not going to regard persons, especially in these coming days. If you do not repent, you so-called black, Hispanic, and Native Americans, as the RFID chip, which is spoken of, the RFID chip in Revelation chapter 13 gets mandated throughout the whole earth. Revelation 3 and 10, the hour of temptation, you will be presented with this, which, which you will either live or die. So we will be presented with this, the hour of temptation. Revelation chapter 13, the all finding chip will be mandated throughout the whole earth. This will go on your hand or in your forehead, cause your great sores, like spoken of Revelation 16 and 2. World War III is coming, great famine, great death. America, Babylon, great, will be destroyed by nuclear fire. FEMA camps are coming, martial law. And Girl Scout troops will come through the streets. These are all things that are coming upon America down the line of So we're calling back the permanent of your so-called black, Hispanic, and Native Americans to your nationality. Seek the wisdom of this book. Watch as well as pray. Fast. Watch these prophecies come to pass. Seek knowledge, wisdom, and understanding of this book. So it says, Deuteronomy 10 to 16, circumcise the foreskin of your heart. And this all goes into being born again. You have to be born again with this knowledge, wisdom, and understanding. You have to be born again by the Spirit. You have to be cleansed by the washing of the water of the Word. You do that by reading. You do that by doing your research, looking up the words, getting their understanding. 
of the prophecies that will come to pass. Romans chapter 2, verse 29. is not a Jew, which is one outwardly, neither is that circumcision, which is outward in the flesh. So you don't, you do not necessarily have to look like us, you don't have to wear these fringes, although you should, but it's not a, this is not what's going to save you. This is not the end all be all. Now the reason the fringes were commanded in the first place is to remember the commandments, so you can look at them and remember the commandments. So that in itself is not a commandment. It's just a commandment so you can remember the commandments. So the fringes will not save you. Your faith will save you. Keeping the commandments will save you. Seeking the wisdom of this book will save you. Praying as well as fasting will save you. So that you may live to see the day of the coming of the Son of Man. So this is Romans chapter 2 verse 29. But he is a Jew, which is born in Bindu, and circumcision is that of the heart and the spirit, and not in the letter, whose praise is not of man, but of God. So circumcision starts with the heart, your heart being your mind, your lab, which is in the Hebrew that means your mind. You have to circumcise your mind, take away that, that uh, the foreskin, the thing that's covering your understanding, which is the philosophies of this world, the commandments of men. Christianity, Catholicism, all these things are nothing but lies. They're teaching you contrary to what is spoken of in the Holy Bible. This is the book of Hosea, chapter 11, and verse 12. Ephraim compassed me about with lies, and the house of Israel with deceit. But Judah, ye ruleth with God, and is faithful with the saints. So Ephraim, and what you call Israel, were of the uh, northern kingdom, which was, which is uh, the ten lost tribes. Those that came into the Americas after they were led into captivity by the Assyrians. So Judah was still in that land. The southern kingdom, the four tribes that you see here, those that were still in Jerusalem right before the destruction of the Holy Land in 70 AD. And some of our people in the northern kingdom were still there also, but the majority were here in the Americas. As spoken of in Second Address, they came into a land not inhabited so that they may keep their laws and statutes. It says, Joel, chapter 3, and verse 3. And they have cast lots for my people, and have given a bird for a harlot, and so they go for wine, that they may drink. So this was after the dispersion, the so-called Jews, the Negroes that you read about in the Holy Bible. They fled into West Africa and were sold, were sold into the transatlantic slave trade and were sent into the West Indies. Some were carried into America on slave ships as prophesied in Deuteronomy 28-68. So all people sold, sold, sold each other. And also, this is talking about the so-called white man which took part in the slavery of our Negro brothers and selling them which are the ancient Grecians, which are the ancient Romans. They're the same people today. So this is talking about those that have cast lots, Joel 3 and 3, and they have cast lots for my people, and I given a boy for a holy, so they go for wine that they might drink. Joel 3 and 4, yeah, and why have ye to do with me, O Tawi and Zidon? Tawi and Zidon are these sons of Ham, these are Hamites. These are not Negroes. These are these are what you call Africans. They're not the same as our Negro brothers. Two distinct nations. Japanese, Chinese. Two distinct nations. Although they look similar. So this is what it's talking about. Taiwi and Zadan. These are Hamites. These are the sons of Ham. These are those that are took part in the captivity of our people. 
and now the coast of Palestine, which are the Mingo people that are still there today, which are so-called Arabs. They also took part in that slave trade. Will you render me a recompense? And if you recompense me swiftly and speedily, will I return your recompense upon your own head? Jerome 3 and 5, because you have taken my silver and my gold and have carried into your temples my goodly present things. Verse 6, the children also of Judah and the children of Jerusalem have you sold unto the Grecians. So there you go, the Jew and the Greek. The Greeks are Jews that were following after the ways of the Greeks that conquered them. And our people are doing the same thing today, following after the ways of these Romans and the Greeks. And you see that was done during the ancient Roman time. So Jerome 3 and 6, the children also of Judah, the children of Jerusalem, have you sold unto the Grecians. So how is it that you read in the New Testament and you see there is neither Jew nor Greek? And how can you say that they're about talking about everybody? So you have to know the difference, get the understanding of the Holy Bible. Jerome 3 and 6, of Jerusalem have you sold unto the Grecians, that you might remove them far from their border. This is talking about the children of Esau, which are the Europeans, the ancient Romans, the ancient Greeks, the Spaniards, they are the same nation. These are the these are the um, the wicked of the earth, and they are the same people. Romans 9:13, Jacob have I loved, Esau have I hated. This is what we read about in Malachi chapter 1, verse 1 to 4. The border of wickedness. And you see that they're doing the same thing today down in the southern border, whipping our Asian brothers with whips. That's madness, and that's uh, nothing but evil, man. These people are devils. These people are the devil that the Bible speaks of. They're the, they're the oppressors of the earth, and they will be cut off in the land of the living. After a thousand years in hardcore slavery, they will be wiped out, and you other nations are going into slavery also. And you will be sent back into your own land, thus said the Holy Bible. Jerome 3 and 7, Behold, I will raise them out of the place where the year has so done, and will return your recompense upon your own head. So the Most High God is raising his elect out of the same place where you got that double servant, you so-called black, Hispanic, and Native Americans. Return to your nationality. Keep the commandments. Keep the belief in Yahweh Shah Mashiach before the days of evil come upon America, Babylon, the great. This land is finished. This land will get burnt up by ICBM missiles. That saved the Holy Bible. That saved Yahweh. This is Luke chapter 21 and verse 20. And we should, when you shall see Jerusalem come past with armies, then know that the desolation the rough is nigh. Then let, then let them which are in Judea flee to the mountains. And let them which are in the midst of it depart out. Let them not that are in the countries enter therein too. For these be the days of vengeance. All things which are written may be fulfilled. So the army cut passing about Jerusalem was the army of the Romans in 70 AD. After that, the Jews fled into West Africa, into the interiors of West Africa, and into other parts of the earth, which is the Israelites are scattered abroad, but the majority in these last days are in America by the army great. Why? Because that's biblical prophecy. It prophesied of the ten lost tribes in the book of Second Edges would come into a land on inhabited, where they would keep their laws and commandments and statutes. And then you have Deuteronomy 28 to 68. says, you will return back into Egypt on slave ships. There you will be saved for by men and by women, and no man will buy you. He's talking about the Negro brothers that were sold into the Americas as slaves, as by men and by women, as prophesied by Moses in the book of Deuteronomy 28 and 68. So all these things came to pass, and now they're happening again. You shall see. It says, uh, Luke 21. Luke 
Luke 21 and 22. For these be the days of vengeance, all things which are written may be fulfilled. This is a great death, great destruction coming upon America, Babylon the Great. Right along World War III, that I find in Chip, as spoken of in Revelation chapter 13. And these things will come to pass. So this, this place will get burnt up by nuclear fire. That's said the Holy Bible. So we're warning the remnant of our people to repent, come back to your nationality, seek the wisdom of this book while you still can. This is the book of Matthew, chapter 4, verse 15. The land of Zebulon, the land of Naphtali, by the way of sea beyond Jordan, Galilee of the Gentiles. Zebulon, Naphtali, those are one of the sons of Jacob, of the twelve tribes of Israel. We call this land Galilee of the Gentiles. They tell you who the Gentiles are. They are the same nation. You know if you read that the Holy Bible, precept upon precept, line upon line, you're a little, very little. This is Matthew chapter 4, verse 23. And Yahweh Shai went about all Galilee, teaching in the synagogues, and preaching the gospel of the kingdom, and healing all manner of sickness, and all manner of disease among the people. So this is that gospel of the kingdom to the, uh, to the Gentiles, which are Israelites. We all became gen into a Gentile state of mind. This is the gospel of the kingdom. Salvation is of the Jews, which are Israelites. And then great death is coming upon America, Babylon, the great. Seek the wisdom of this book. This is part of that gospel of the kingdom as a testimony to two-thirds of our people who walked after the area of Cain, which is the so-called white man of the regeneration, the children of Esau, the children of the wicked. This is the book of Joel, chapter 2, and verse 1. Blow the trumpet in Zion, sound an alarm in my holy mountain, with all the inhabitants of the land tremble. For the day of the Lord cometh, it is not at hand, and great destruction is not at hand. Great famine, for the lack of bread, lack of water is at hand. The FID chip is at hand. All these things will be three. FEMA camps, martial law, great God, these things are at hand. July 2 and 2, a day of darkness and gloominess, a day of clouds and of thick darkness, as the morning spread upon the mountains, the great people and the strong, there will not be never light, neither shall be any more after it, even unto the years of many generations. July 2 and 3, if I devour before them, Behind them a flame burneth. The land is as the garden of Eden before them. Behind them a desolate wilderness. And nothing shall escape them. The appearance of them is as the appearance of horses. And as horsemen shall they run. This is talking about the ICBM missiles. Which will come upon America, Babylon Great. As read about in the book of Revelation. July 2 and 5, like the noise of chariots, on top of mountains shall they leap, like the noise of a flame of fire, devoureth their stubble, as a strong people set them down their way. Before their face, the people shall be much pain, all faces shall gather blackness. This is, this is through nuclear fallout. This is the great destruction. Mountains being thrown down, houses being destroyed by nuclear radiation. By the impact, nuclear fallout. July 2 and 8, neither shall one thrust another. They shall walk every one in his path. When they fall upon the sword, they shall not be wounded. They shall run to and fro in the city. They shall run upon the wall. They shall climb upon the houses. They shall enter at the windows like a thief. And this is that great curse that will come upon America. It says they shall enter into the windows like a thief. 
this is that great curse that will come upon America, Babylon, the great, which is, and all this, that it will pass God's chosen people. And this is what two-thirds of our people have to, um, this is their judgment. Nuclear destruction and all you other nations. Nuclear destruction. This is the curse that devoured the face of the earth. July 2 and 10, the earth shall quake before them. The heavens shall tremble. The sun and the moon shall be dark. And the stars shall withdraw their shining. Verse 11. And the Lord shall utter his voice before his army. For his camp is very great. For he is strong that executed his word. And the day of the Lord is great and very terrible. And who can abide in it? Jerome 2 and 32. And they shall come to pass, whosoever it shall come to pass, whosoever shall call upon the name of Yahweh Bashim Yahushai shall be delivered. For in Mount Zion and in Jerusalem shall be delivered at the Lord I said, and in the remnant whom the Lord shall call. So this talking about the remnant, this talking about the elect, the Israel of God, that will be delivered by the by the uh, chariots of the most high God, so called UFOs. It says in the book of Revelation, chapter 9, verse 19. For their power is in their mouth and in their tails. For their tails were like unto serpents and had heads. And with that they do hurt. This is talking about the ICBM missiles. Revelation 9, 17. And thus I saw the voices in the vision. And then I saw on them having breastplates of fire and of jassy and brimstone and the heads of the horses were as the heads of lions and out of their mouths issued fire and smoke and brimstone by these three was the third part of man killed by the fire and by the smoke and by the brimstone which issued out of their mouth for the power is in their mouth and in their tails he was talking about intercontinental ballistic missiles that will come from America by the land of great Matthew chapter 11 and verse 25. At that time, Yahweh shall answer and said, I thank thee, O Father, Lord of heaven and earth, because thou hast hid these things from the wise and the prudent, and has revealed them unto babes. So this is why Yahweh shall Mashiach, he said, Narrow is the gate unto salvation, and wide is the way unto destruction. Why? Because not all will understand the prophecies of the, of the Holy Bible in these latter days. Two-thirds of our people will follow after their own lust and die right along with the oppressor via nuclear destruction. Second Corinthians chapter 4 and verse 3. Second Corinthians 4 and 3. But if our gospel be heard, it is said to them that are lost, and whom the God of this world have blinded the minds of them which believe not, lest the light of the glorious gospel of Hamashiach, who is the image of God, shall shine unto them. So two thirds of our people are blinded by the God of this world, by the rulers of darkness, by the workers of iniquity. They're blinded by their own lust, and despise them good. So this is why the prophecies speak about their eyes being consumed in their, in their sockets while they stand. This is our curse and their recompense that will come upon two-thirds of our people and you are the nations for disappointing the words of the Heavenly Father and giving yourselves unto rebellion. This is the book of Tobit, chapter 3 and verse 13. Confess him before the Gentiles, you children of Israel, for he has scattered us among them. The Gentiles are Israelites. We all became Gentiles. We all followed after the ways and the customs and the ways of this world. But now we're back. 
The Jews are black. The prophets are back. And now you're to give me the true understanding of the words of Yahweh Hashem Yahushai. Be a that the apostles of God is a great more stone by the Rakak Wadash, the Holy Spirit. This is the book of Amos, chapter 9, and verse 9. The Lord, I will command and I will sit the house of Israel among all nations, like as a corn that is sifted in the seed. Yet shall not the least of your grain fall upon the earth. Verse 10, all the sinners of my people shall die by the sword, which say, the evil shall not overtake nor prevent us. In that day will I raise up the tabernacle of David that is fallen, and close up the breaches thereof, and I will raise up his ruins, and I will build it as the days of the old. Verse 12, that they may possess the remnant of Edom and all the heathen which are called by my name, saith the Lord, to do with this. So this is talking about the next dominion, the first dominion, given unto the children of the Most High God, the Israelites. And all the sinners of his people will be cut off in America, Babylon, great, by nuclear slaughter. So Amos 9-11, in that day will I raise up the tabernacle of David that is fallen, close up the breaches the world, and I will raise up his ruins, and I will build it as in the days of old. And the doors of mercy are closing up as these last these prophecies are coming to pass. And our ministry is coming into a man, thus saith the Holy Bible. And this is what the Holy Bible spoke of in times past by the servants and the prophets of the Most High God, those that came before us. They spoke of great death, great destruction, the rebuilding up of the former kingdom, which is the kingdom of Israel, which are the saints of the Most High God, which are the kings of the earth. Starting with Yahweh Mashiach, order will be set back on the earth. Thus saith the Holy Bible. Amos 9 and 10, 9 and 12, that they may possess the burden of their Edom and all the heathen, which are called by my name, saith the Lord that doeth this. This is the book of Amos, chapter 6, and verse 3. Ye that put far away the evil day, and cause the seed of violence to come near. He's talking about two-thirds of our people walking after rebellion and will die right along with the rebels. As this man comes down with great wrath, knowing that his time is short, as the RFID chip spoken of in Revelation chapter 13 gets mandated throughout the whole earth. World War III, Armageddon, great death, great famine, great destruction. All these things are coming upon America, Babylon, the great. This is the book of Amos, chapter 6, and verse 6. That drink wine and bowls, and anoint themselves with the chief ointments, but they are not grieved for the affliction of Joseph. They are not grieved by the affliction of the rest of our people, those that are trodden down, those that have no wisdom, knowledge, and understanding. They are not grieved by these things. So you may so like it says, you and all sinners of my people will die by the sword. And that's just judgment in the eyes of the Most High God. Amos 5 and 10. They, they hear him that rebuketh in the gate, and they abhor him that speaketh that rightly. And we don't give a damn what you think. We're out here to speak the words of truth. The words of the Holy Bible. Thus saith the volume of the book. Thus saith the Holy Bible. And we're committing our works unto the end. Lord, we're 